Hey, this is Grant. Just want to provide a quick update on the Pilot 2 side. We'll have a full video tutorial series come out on the DJI Enterprise YouTube channel. But for those familiar with DJI Pilot, just wanted to run over some key items with the firmware release. Just make sure there isn't any confusion. Pilot 2 is the new version for all M300 and M30 users doesn't matter what payload you're using with the M300, the new V4 update brings in Pilot 2. The functionality is pretty much the same. However, there's a few small changes along with where a few items and visual views are at. So just a quick run through here to give you an idea. You see the homepage here, really have similar options, just a little more well-defined in the top right. You see the person icon there, that's just giving you your information, log in and out of your account. You can also get to GeoZone unlocking in this menu as well. You have your security there as well to get to any of those values like local data mode, encrypting the SD card, etc. On the left side here, you can easily view GeoZones and another option there with the lock button on the bottom left to download and enable unlocking certificates. On the left side there, you can look at your album to review photos. You have the Academy if you'd like to view tutorials or information. And then here in the top middle, you have cloud service. This is where you'd connect to Flight Hub 2 if you would like to try that out with the M300 and H20 series or the M30. The customized live stream is now where you'll run an RTMP stream or RTSP, and then open platforms for developers who are using our cloud API. It's where you have the option to connect to them. So small change there with RTMP streams moved into the cloud service icon there in the middle. On the top right, you can easily go into the health management system, see information about maintenance or DJI care, along with firmware. And then the bottom right here is where we'll enter the manual flight. Uh, real quick though, before I get into that, did wanna note mission flight is right there with flight route. So same options as before, waypoint mapping, oblique, linear, along with a few updates there, but that's how you get to your mission flight. Enter camera view for manual flight. The new checklist that was introduced in version three is here as well. On the FPV side, you know, it's a small difference on the left side. The top one is gonna turn your beacon on and off on the drone. And then the one below that is discrete mode. Gives you a little pop-up message there as well. On the H20T side, we are indoors right now, but from uh, left, you can tap to drop a pin, tap and hold for pin settings, your laser range finder on and off. Uh, one quick note here, not showing the latitude longitude, which was present in the previous version. Working on adding that back in version 4.1 based on some user feedback. And then your third icon here is your gimbal recenter options. The IR and zoom buttons there to change your camera view, along with zooming in and out on the right side. Your camera settings, you can now just tap on them and you'll get a little drop down menu to change those. The top bar, you can see these nice little sub menus now for easily turning on and off RTK, reviewing your current signal and satellites, RC signal strength, and then easily access your battery information, voltage. You know, those are key metrics as well. Switching over to Zoom, similar idea here. Just obviously have some additional options for the camera settings. And then on the IR side, once again, submenus here to change palettes, isotherms, tap on that to change your gain mode. SBS stands for side by side. So you have your IR and your Zoom can tap the IR button to zoom with the IR, tap and hold IR to go back to one times. And you have your zoom control there on the right side, FFC, and then storage information don't have an SD card in there right now. On the map side, very similar, 
So the only key difference here is lines, polygons, um, there on the left side. So overall, very similar on the Pilot 2 interface. If there's any questions or items might be able to assist with, please do let me know. Thanks.